What's up guys, we are here with our more SPL sweepage versus Atticus as we see this is our gen 4 OU so it's DPP He didn't get uh, paralyzed by uh, Yuxi or Uxi, however you want to pronounce it So yeah, I was about to like I wanted to record Uber's match um, from Psychic Mewtwo, but I missed that match because they started 20 minutes earlier than scheduled so that's a bit disappointing, but it was just Lugia in the end that walled okay, everything. Uh, yeah. And okay, sorry for that. I just finished rendering something. So it's knockoff Clef, but Clefable is not a fairy type in Gen 4. I wonder if Clefable was as annoying in Gen 4 as it was in like in Auris, probably was. But like with the normal typing, it's only weak to fighting, right? But it only has the ghost resistance, the fairy type is like super, like has a lot of resistances. Uh, I didn't even check, actually yeah, my, 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 my mic is picking up my voice, is what I'm trying to say here. I wasn't sure if it did, because I restarted my computer. Okay, this is a uh, Roserite with teeth bikes. So it's like Hazard taking balance from Sweepage part. Maybe like a Swampert in the back for that Firewater Grass Corp. A nice U turn, Stealth Fox, T Wave support, Yuxi. What would it run in the last move? Either Psychic Stab or Screens or Yawn, like a screen or something. So he shows the Breloom and the Poison Orb activates. It's like the standard set Breloom runs in uh, DPP. It runs like Bulk. That Bulk is set with Poison Heal and with our uh, Sub Focus Punch. And you can spore grass types in Gen 4, so he can uh, like freely fire off a spore here. I kind of like the aspect, like the the Gen 4 mechanics, that there's no team preview, which is like pretty interesting to me. Because you gotta like guess what months are potentially in the back. Gengar gets put to bed, I assume. No, he just went for super power. Why did he not go for spore? Like, was there any reason not to go for spore? I don't know. Okay, yeah, the Heatron was paralyzed, and in case the Heatron stayed and he didn't want to go for spore. So I, I can understand that play, but I thought it was pretty obvious that he wouldn't stay in with Heatron. What even switches into Gengar? Like. A steel type probably like a heat and resist heat and resist shadow ball in gen 4 but uh yeah exactly focus plus would hit a heat in the back that seat bomb did a ton who hits focus blast though uh check check out my new shot on lives <laughs> where I have, where um you find out why it's called focus myth yeah jirachi is a pretty good check to gang in gen 4 because Shadow Ball is not super effective, it's neutral if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it should be neutral. Because it's super, like, goes is effective with a psychic, but resisted by, by steel if I'm not mistaken. And yeah, Focus Blast is also neutral. <clears throat> so this leftover Jirachi, he only got a Brock, so what would this be? Would this be like a support Jirachi? Um, I see Jirachi run a lot of like special sets in Gen 4. Sometimes they run like Calm Mind, I think, with T Bolt. T Bolt and Psychic. I don't know if that's the, the most common set, but I see that set sometimes. sometimes. Other options are Icy Wind, uh, probably Grass Move for Swampert. Energy Ball, if it does. I think it gets Energy Ball. It could also be physical with. Fire Punch if it gets that engine for to hit stuff like Scissor. Could also be Wish Support. So let me look at Atticus team. He probably has a water type in the back or a dragon. Like maybe a Flygon or Kingdra or Dragonite, but 
The Heatran is like pretty obvious for Sweepage, yeah, the switch in as Jirachi cannot really do much to Heatran besides potential HP ground, which is I think is rare on Jirachi. Don't, don't quote me on that, might be common. <laughs> okay, so he predicts the Heatran doubles in the Cheetar as Gengar goes for will -Wisp. Okay, pretty interesting that Gengar runs the Black Sludge will -Wisp set. Oh yeah, Black Sludge already got revealed earlier, I didn't pay attention to that, that's my bad. I mean, he can just go for Focus Blast again, and okay, I mispredicted he doesn't have a Dragon or Water type in the back. But Rotom is a ghost, so it's immune to Focus Blast. And I assume there's a Scarf Rotom to scare this Gengar out and just go for Volt Switch or T-Bolt. Or maybe predicting a, pre predicting a Swampert in the back, maybe going for Trick or Will-O-Wisp. Or double switching into Breloom here, predicting a Swampert in the back, potential Swampert. Deck. I don't see a uh, Sleepage staying in with the Gengar here. Um, I think there are like a few OU games later, like Sun and Moon OU, which is pretty interesting. At 1 a.m. my time, which is in like 4 hours and 30 minutes. So I'm gonna stay up for you guys and record that. Goes to Scissor, what? On a T bolt? I, I didn't think he would T bolt there because I thought he would have like a ground type in the back, Flygon or uh, Swampert. Okay, goes Roserade, knowing that the Rotom is locked in a T bolt, but Roserade, I don't think it gets like reliable recovery. I think it only gets Synthesis, and that's not really reliable in Sand. I also don't know if it even learns synthesis in Gen 4, but it leaves some did a ton to the to the Uxie, or a good chunk. And a burn does 12% because we are in Gen 4, not in Gen 7, so the Uxie gets picked off by Sandstorm. Plus burn, plus Leaf Storm damage, and Atticus can bring out Jirachi. Okay. He turned in the back, it's like really obvious, so. I still think Sweet Pitch has a ground up in the back, I don't know why he didn't show it though. Probably not a Swampert unless he was feeding HP Grass from Rotom. Maybe a Flygon then. Jirachi gets this up so it's GG, did Foggy say in the chat. Doubles into Brilliant predicting a potential Swampert or Heatran. I mean Heatran is not potential, it's obviously already revealed that there's a Heatran. Um, so this is like 50-50 for Atticus if he is gonna like superpower or spore. Last time he got the play wrong, he superpowered on his switch when spore would have like gotten him more value out of that turn. But I think he will just go for superpower again, not playing around with this Heatran. The Heatran is really annoying for his Jirachi in the back, but Sweepage shouldn't stay in any ways. Like, if the Heatran is his main check for Jirachi, I don't see why he would just stay in and sack it. Interesting to run, see this run superpower. I saw uh, they all run Focus Punch in Gen 4 with a Substitute, Seed Bomb, and Spore. I think some run Mag Punch. Uh, actually, I don't even know if Mag Punch was a thing in Gen 4. <laughs> Atticus team is uh, interesting to say the least. Like, I would have expected a fire water grass core because that's like really common, I think. Like, not seen Swampert on either teams, like, really surprising. Like, at, at least until now. Supich might still have one. And uh, Superpower picks off the Roserade, so that was like. Yeah, okay, he has a Kingdra. So he doesn't have a Swampert, then I assume. Unless he has like double water type. So a uh, Kingra runs uh, DD set with Resto Chesto a lot of times in DPP. Yeah, that, that's the only set I know about. I think that set is really good with Rest, Dragnet, I think Waterfall and Outrage. 100% sure on the moveset.
Like Clefable is not even like dra uh, immune to dragon in this generation. So like this king there is a huge threat. I think this king there just wins, kind of. Oh, it's, it's special Kingdra, but life orb, okay. I did not see that coming, I didn't know they run that. <laughs> so, Clefable. One ring of Clefable runs the same, like, mixed defense spread that it runs in Auras. So this would be a knockoff. What are, what are the other moves? Soft boiled. Is comic available a thing in Gen 4? Good god. Gen 4, like. So many question marks pop up in my head when I look at Gen 4. <laughs> Gonna, like, um. Ask some expert. I, I think I already said that, but I didn't get one, an expert for this one. Probably already said that in an earlier DPP match that I recorded. He then comes in on T Wave. Well, this guy is like T Wave spam with Ironheart Jiraji, so maybe. I, I mean, he didn't reveal Ironheart yet, but maybe that's his like strategy. Flincherino, scum threat, to be honest. Okay, so run Seismic Toss. That's like kind of. That's kind of like a chance he had said. And probably like a healing move in the last slot, like soft boss. So Gengar has to have Focus Blast to do damage to this, cause knockoff would kill the Gengar, I would assume. Oh, okay. I guess this is kind of a 50-50, cause Atticus might go Rotom on a potential Focus Blast, but he... Atticus uh, still has to take rocks if he goes to Rotom, so I don't think Sweepage loses that much from going by to focus. Good God, why can I not speak? <laughs> Sorry. Oh God. Taunt Gengar, that's pretty interesting, but why did he not go for knockoff there? Like, I think knockoff was a fine play. If, if he stayed in, that is. I mean, um, I get his T-Wave play, because... Yet speeds Gengar the next turn if he T-waves it, and he gets an extra round of leftovers. If he is leftovers, did it? I don't think it get revealed yet. Probably leftovers, because it's a fat Clefable. But what other item would they even run? Like, <laughs> I know this is like there's a potential for Clef to run Life Orb, because Magic Guard is really cool with Life Orb, because you don't take Recall. At least that's an option in Auras. I don't know about Gen Four. But yeah, these normal ones, Clefable, Chance, they get like a really wide move pool. Like Flamethrower, Ice Beam, all that good stuff. As he predicts him to go Rotom. And I don't know why I thought the knockoff would kill, because that did 5. Wait, what? That knockoff did nothing. Ooh, goes for Shadow Ball again. Stop this, man. How does he do it? I really don't get why that knockoff did nothing, though. I mean, yeah, Clef doesn't have much attack, but Gengar is like really frail. Oh yeah, yeah, I, I know why I did nothing. Um, I'm used to knock off having 65 power, 60 in auras, and then getting a boost when it knocks off an item. And in all the gens, knock off had like really, really low base power, like 30 or something. And yeah, I'm used to aura to the auras um, 56 base power and the damage uh, getting boosted if the foe holds an item so that's my bad <laughs> as yeah exactly has the, the t-wave team combination with the iron head flinch jirachi that was a savage play by sweepage though <laughs> for double shadow ball predicting the rotom like it didn't work out the first time and he like kept clicking it like a lord Sweepage has a Gengar in the back, so... The thing is, 
I think you can still click Seismic Toss here. Because uh, Gengar would have to take Rocks and Sandstone if it comes in. Which almost kills it. Yeah, okay, never mind. Yeah, he predicts and makes the nice knockoff play there. I guess knockoff was a fine play because Heatran. Heatran still has its leftovers, right? And it's Rainant's Kingdra, the yellow magic comes out. So it's Rainant's with a swift swim, as he doesn't have a rain setter. Poitel wasn't a thing in Gen 4, yeah. So, if I'm not mistaken. But he just changes the weather. Gets uh, fully paralyzed, which is pretty annoying. I assume he went for Hydro Pump there. Because since he's live up, that might have killed. The, that probably would have killed the, the Cheetah. Like, Cheetah is really bulky, uh, don't get me wrong, but it's a live up Hydro Pump stab from Kingdra, which is like, which is no joke. So, this is really like sad to see him get paralyzed there. <laughs> Sun the wave provo proving to be the best move in the game. <laughs> I mean, let me like um, highlight this in the chat for you, cause like I think someone mentioned that I was talking about something in the chat, and he like didn't exactly know what I was talking about. Even though I always like most of the time just pick something from here in the chat, but in the Jamvet video where I had like seven or eight people talking. Obviously the chat was like super fast because everyone was going insane that Jammer was playing. As Uwe gets a defense drop, oh god, Sweepage is getting hacked, this poor man. And yeah, th so the chat was like going super fast in Jammer game, right? And then it can obviously happen that I talk about something in the chat that has already like been a few, like a minute ago. And like, cause, and the chat kept on like going down and other people were talking and I didn't want to interrupt them so that's why like that might be a bit confusing sometimes if I talk about let's say I talk about this someone else says something and one minute later it's obviously like not on the screen anymore <laughs> but yeah just wanted to say that see which probably just loses this um actually no Suicune can like come back right okay that's an offensive Suicune that crunch did a ton, is that like a bandit Tyranitar? That crunch did so much, what? Uh, I think the Suicune run, I fed the Suicune run Hydro Pump or Surf, and yeah, Ice Beam, exactly. I'm not sure about the last move they run, maybe some hidden power, maybe maybe rest? I don't think they're on rest. I think, I see substitutes sometimes, I think in ADV, but don't quote me on that either. I really need to get some like expert for this uh, Gen 4 agents if I do Gen 4 again. So maybe I to like create a hydro pump to kill this Clefable. Like if this Clefable is but death, not even like it might even live a crit pump. But like the the hex against you, which kind of sucks. I think he got hexed uh, like I don't know if it was last week, but I think he got hexed in another match. And an earlier week, in I think it was Sun and Moon Oyu. <laughs> this guy here said that Clef had it pretty sure about that. This <laughs> bitch getting mad, but yeah. I would get pretty mad too if I would have gotten hexed like that. Um so yeah again I wanna like ask you guys how many like how many SPL videos should I upload a day? Because I'm recording a lot. Um and I will probably like upload at least three SPL matches a day. Uh Sometimes even more, sometimes less, but like around three, sometimes four. My question is like, how many, how many videos can you have? Like, I know some of you guys are probably busy, and it's if I pump out too much content, you can not follow. But yeah, the thing is, uh, some people or most people are also only interested in like highlight matches, like from the big name players. 
So, I guess if they don't watch this, like DBP match for example, and I upload more on that day, where I upload matches that they don't care about, I guess it's fine, because they only watch the matches that they care about. I don't really know what I'm trying to say, but yeah, leave a comment. Oh, he's going for the freeze, that's his only wincon, I guess. Yeah, Seismic Toss just kills. Yeah, okay, Hyderabad would have killed as He still said GG, even though he got hacked. So yeah, I'll leave a comment down below how many videos a day you can handle if you bet it until this point. Thank you guys oh, for watching. And I hope you enjoyed. Uh, we got like some Salmon Uyu coming up later. I already mentioned that earlier. Dogwood signing out. Have a nice day. Peace, friends.